Hey, it's 29 minutes past the big hour at the big top, and you're listening to The Good Hour with me, Henry Good. And now we're going to switch over to a guy by the name of Professor Birchfield. Well-known professor, he specializes in things that you and I do not know. Welcome to the program, Professor. Did you know, Henry, that different countries have different heart shapes? It's not always that symmetrical shape you see on the American Valentine's cards. Even our own heart shape is really not shaped like a heart. You don't see ventricles and whatnot. You don't say. Well, Professor, tell us what people in England think a heart shape is. A rectangle. Interesting. So people would get a card with a valentine rectangle? They would call it a valentine heart, but it would be shaped like a rectangle. What about a heart shape in Hungary? An oval. Wow, what about Chad? An octagon. How about China? A straight line, but it would have to be red in color. Wait a minute, a straight line? How would they know it's for Valentine's Day? The Chinese write, Happy Valentine's Day on the card. Hmm, damned if they haven't been fooling with it. When there's smoke, there's fire. You see that, Toby? Yeah. Wheel spinning like a top. They need that much power? That's the gratitude we get. Put a roof over their head. You're going to learn something, Toby. We'll have to see how we deal with this. Hey, it's 29 minutes past the big hour at the big top. And you're listening to the good hour with me, Henry Good. We're speaking with Congressman Gibson and Congressman Holmes, who are both opposing one another for the Senate. We all know about the crisis in our race. What do you intend to do about it? First of all, I plan to study it. Why has Caesar Salad become so popular? Come right a little train that's going down the track to the junction. Petticoat Junction. Oh, the problem is not Caesar Salad. The problem is the gotcha bread. Let me finish. When you get to the junction. Look here. Clark Kent. He's sleeping. But he's wearing glasses. You can't wear glasses to bed. Oh, but he has to wear glasses, because no one would know he's Clark Kent. They'd think he's Superman. But Superman doesn't sleep. It's from NASA. Aeronautics. Space Administration, open it up. What kind of machinery does he have running up there? Refrigerators, portable heaters, Dishwashers, microwaves. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. It's a personal letter. They wouldn't send me a personal letter unless they like my invention. Come on, open it. Up. What is this? Oh no! Damn. They said it tasted terrible. I don't know what I did wrong. They said the phone packet was non-functional. You tested this, right? Yeah, in tavern conditions. First you add the lager powder, then you wait 20 minutes, you add the foam powder, then you mix them together for a cold beer. Where did you test this? At the Great Water Bar and Grill. The Great Water? Yeah. You know their clock is 20 minutes fast. No wonder it didn't work. Ah, oh, damn. That's okay, babe. You'll invent something new. They didn't like my other idea either. Which one was that? Who wouldn't like a nice piece of fish on toast, especially when orbiting Mars? The perfect place for seafood. Yeah, NASA said powdered bread's been done before. Yeah, breadcrumbs. Damn! Junk everywhere. Yeah, Uncle. Take a note. I want all this clutter out of here by the end of the month. Why can't you do something that, that's going to, like, help mankind or save the rainforest? All modern conveniences help mankind. You know what I mean. Okay, I've got something you like. What do you have? 
not my birthday. Check it out. What do you see? You know what this is. It's a magnetic razor. And uh, I've got this lotion. It's got steel in it. I put the lotion on my face and the magnet pulls out my whiskers. Oh, Walter. Yeah, this is your landlord. I want to know why your electrical bill is $300 a month. I don't want any kind of factory operation running up there. I told you to get out three days ago. I'm coming up there to change the locks. You're going to go down in history, Uncle Phil, the greatest landlord ever. Because electricity must flow both ways. You mean that's a live wire? Precisely. I've, I've rigged up the outlet so that it accepts electricity instead of sending it out. So, we have to generate it, and uh, you do that by turning the key. It generates one one-hundredth of a kilowatt. I don't like this idea. Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin of the 21st century. Something could go wrong. You're going to kill somebody. It's perfectly safe. Besides, a landlord just called complaining about the power we use. Now we can have some of it back. Walter, something terrible can happen. You're going to kill somebody. A kilowatt here and a kilowatt there isn't going to kill anybody. Someday, kid, you're gonna run this building. You can say that you learned from the best. You're the best landlord in San Francisco. Yeah, I mean, great. Let's answer it. Keep quiet, baby, don't go away. I know you're in there. He's gonna use the key. But I'm gonna be famous. I wanna learn what's going on with my electrical bills. Oh, but he's got to wear glasses because otherwise no one would know he's Clark Kent. They think he's Superman. Superman doesn't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Rodriguez. She works two jobs. She 
never turns on her heat during the winter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. I was trying not to laugh from the first time. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> boy.